are definitely at the Magic Kingdom. We're here to check it out, you know, see what kind of new safety procedures they have and see how busy the park is because of COVID. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So far, it's not too busy. Yeah. We saw like five people get on at one stop and we were like, whoa, that's busy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah, let's check it out. So yeah, the security check. There is nobody here. They have all these distancing signs and everything, distancing markers on the ground. It's kind of interesting. So yeah, they have these signs. Here's what the sign says. Basically says if you're experiencing any of these symptoms, you know, maybe don't come to the park. And you're confirming that you aren't experiencing any of these symptoms. Moving on. It's kind of interesting. Usually you scan your fingerprint and your magic band to get into the park, but in order to reduce the touching points, they actually got rid of the finger scanning part. So it's now just a magic band touch point. It is about one o'clock. And this is what the crowds look like. There are no crowds. There's Crystal over there with her Eeyore. Look, look at that, the Eeyore shoulder pal. Pretty cute. But yeah, there, there's nobody here. It is just empty. Amazing. So we're waiting for a photo to be taken and there's actually even markers in front of the fast pass photographer. In front of the castle, look at that. So this is one of their moving parades that they have. And they have it so a whole bunch of people don't congregate on the sides. And it works kind of well, you know. Some people are congregating on the sides, but not too many. Yeah. Oh, I like his helmet with the Mickey ears on it. kind of interesting. We're here at the Skipper Canteen and you scan to, you know, view the dining menu. Because uh, they don't hand out dining menus anymore because, you know, they'd have to wash them all in between. So yeah, you just scan to check out what the menu is. And then actually on the back of this, you can see they offer menus in different languages as well. So one other interesting thing, as we pay for a bill, they actually do this paper thing. So instead of, you know, the usual like leather thing that you, you know, pay for and sign in, it's now this disposable paper thing. It's kind of interesting. Okay, we're all done with eating at the Skipper Canteen. It's very interesting. You know, every other table was being sat with guests and, you know, the waiters were wearing full face shields with masks. So, we felt very safe inside that restaurant. Uh, so yeah, I, I would recommend it. Guests continue to amaze me here at Disney World. Everyone is wearing a mask. Everyone. Even at Pirates of the Caribbean, they have all these six feet apart signs. It's very interesting how they do this part in Pirates of the Caribbean. They have these short ones, uh, and then they have this long break over here without any, and then on the other side they have one. Uh, that's because, you know, so guests aren't standing too close next to each other here. It's kind of interesting. There's only two parties per boat. So yeah, they're definitely taking safety very serious here in Pirates of the Caribbean. So they have turned this old Pirates Adventure area into a relaxation area where you're allowed to take off your mask and just take a break from the hot Florida sun without a mask on. And it looks like they do sometimes expect a line for it because there are markers spread out throughout this area over here just for the station. So we're on the way for Big Thunder Mountain right now and fast pass line is closed. No fast passes for any ride here, simply because they aren't offering fast passes and because they use that extra fast pass line to, you know, take up, oh, squirrel behind me over there. Uh, they use that extra fast pass line. Okay, so we can see fast pass, they do have these dividers up. They do help divide the guests. These are plexiglass dividers and they added them here throughout the ride. So where the line divides, that's where the plexiglass starts once again. Just in case you're wondering how they did this line. So it looks like they're doing one party per section of the train.
By the way, we're waiting in the Haunted Mansion right now, and we're walking in a new area. Check it out. So they actually have guests queued on this pathway here, right next to the water. And so I've never actually queued here before. Uh, but yeah, you go through this building over here, and then up. So this is definitely new for me. So here's what the small world cues look like. They set up all these metal cues, and it works pretty well. Here's what the cues look like inside small world. So they have it way over there as one, and way over here. So they do spread out very well here. So by the way, they usually have a meet and greet over there, or a photo pass, and they usually have a photo pass over here. But there is no photo pass. In fact, it's 4.50 right now, and you can see there is hardly anybody here. It is just completely empty of people. By the way, Friar's Nook is closed. It is not one of the restaurants that is open, it looks like, so sadly you can't get the mac and cheese that's usually here. By the way, the playground here at Winnie the Pooh is closed down. It is not available whatsoever. There's a rope in front of it all, and kids are not allowed to interact with it, because obviously if they're interacting with it, you know, they could be spreading something that maybe they should not. There's even a size. Not available. It's also interesting, they put out on like this little padding over this touch area that's actually next to the queue, because they don't want guests to, you know, use it. And actually, for the honey screens that you usually be able to touch, uh, they don't allow guests over there. Instead, they just, you know, direct them through the other queue over there. One of the added benefits of coming here right now is that the lines for photo passes are nothing. There's like no lines for photo passes. We just did one where we we're the only one there. So she's able to do like 15 different poses with us, it felt like. It was pretty amazing. Aw, oh, okay, so Gaston's Tavern is closed as well as the Bonjouri Village Gift Shop. Crystal's trying to look in the window to see if they have anything new. <laughs> so we're on our way to do The Little Mermaid now, and it, it's pretty dead here too, let me show you. So the extended queue goes out quite some way for The Little Mermaid. However, there's a 10 minute wait on the queue. So yeah, it, it's, it's not too crowded right now. So, we think we might have hit this during the cleaning time because they have not boarded any guests in like the last four or five minutes. Uh, and Crystal was saying how they clean it every two hours. Uh, and so that makes sense. Uh, it looks like they're slowly stopping the ride. It might be just to let off those guests, but I think they're going to be cleaning the whole ride in a second. So for Magic Kingdom, baby, they open up at 9. Their cleaning times run every two hours at 11 a.m. 1 p.m., 3 p.m., 5 p.m. So we have happened to just hit the 5 p.m. Okay, cleaning is over, and we're about to board. So we're off the Little Mermaid, and I just wanted to show you, there's only two people on teacups. Only two of the teacups are filled right now. There is a zero minute wait for teacups. What? That's so crazy. There's also like no line for Autotopia. It doesn't even extend past this metal area. That's crazy. So the people mover is currently closed for a refurbishment. We're very disappointed in that because it's one of the best rides here at Disney World. So Astro Orbiter, which usually has a crazy long line, very short line right now, very short indeed. By the way, for Carousel of Progress, what they do to socially distance you is they close off every other row and then they also spread out guests by three or four seats throughout the auditorium. Uh, so that's kind of interesting and it works well, I think. It's about six o'clock. The park closes in one hour and th th we've had a wonderful day here. There's hardly anybody here. We've done so many rides without a wait, without a hassle, without having to joggle ourselves through any crowds. It, it's been a good day, and the social distance measures, the safety measures that they have are pretty amazing here. 
it's been a very different feel of a vacation for us because I'm always staring at like the my phone, looking at fast passes, what can we do next? So this is giving it kind of like a actual relaxing vacation time. There is just no one here. It feels like it's closing right now, but there's still an hour left in the park. It's crazy. Uh, it looks like those two shops are closed. So yeah, today's been pretty good. Uh, we just got off the Jungle Cruise. Uh, while we were in queue though, uh, there's a, a couple that were like jumping underneath the queues to get, uh, you know, to the back of the line. Uh, and then they started getting like a foot from us consistently. We tried scooting up. Uh, and at that point, you know, if you fear that they're not being safe, the theme parks can only remain open if everyone is practicing social distancing and being safe in it. So we did ask them to scoot back. So yeah, don't be afraid to ask someone to scoot back if they accidentally shuffle forward in line. Uh, most people probably just do it accidentally because it's such a new phenomena phenomenon to do. here at the Magic Kingdom and it's definitely a way different experience mm -hmm. during the pandemic. Yeah, I found it a bit more relaxing for me because I'm not on my phone, always trying for the next best fast pass or you know constantly looking at wait times. We just took it very leisurely, just strolled from ride to ride. Um, it's nice. It is very nice. We weren't worried about fast passes which is way different. We just you know went around the circle because all of the queues we're basically the same length throughout the whole day, so if you're gonna do all the rides, you might as well do it all around the circle just to save yourself some walking time. It also just feels more relaxing too when there's not hordes of crowds around you. Mm. Like you have your space, you feel like you can relax, and it's it's really kind of nice. It's really nice, and it feels really safe here too. Disney has taken some extraordinary efforts here to make sure that everyone stays safe. So yeah, it's a good day. Yeah, there's hand sanitizer everywhere, which is amazing. Constant reminders about, you know, making sure you wear your mask, wash your hands. Um, yeah, this definitely feels like one of the safer places to be if you're going out and about. Yeah, so that's it for today. See ya. Bye.